Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you my review of The Bronze. First of all, I can't help but thinking this movie might have just been better overall in with a July release over an August release, considering that the whole movie is focused on a USA Olympian, you know, American spirit, and... <laughs> Her birthday's even on the 4th of July in the movie, you know, it could have... 4th of July takes place in the movie. It just seems like it would have made more sense. Um, so let's let's kind of talk about, first off, what this movie's about. Now I've been, I kind of been looking up how to say her name, and I think it's Melissa Rausch. Rausch? Or something like that. Um, she, she stars as... Uh, an ex-Olympian when she was a, uh, you know, whatever, whatever gymnast age is. Um, she she uh, was performing in the Olympics and she got hurt and she still managed to finish and she, she got the bronze medal and she just was never able to return to the Olympics because of the injury. And now it's, let's say 10 years later. I don't think they ever said, but it's probably at least 10 years later. And she's... Uh, She's kind of turned into like a spoiled brat and super annoying and she's like the hometown hero and so she like just goes around expecting everything for free and she's like really mean to her dad and she's just like not a very nice person and her dad's basically like I'm gonna be retiring I can't support you anymore uh, you're not trying to get a job you're stealing uh, you need to do something and there's this new girl in town or well maybe she's not new in town but she is <clears throat> following in her footsteps to become an olympic medalist in gymnastics and her old coach wants her to help and she she doesn't want anything to do with it because she doesn't want to become forgotten and then her coach kills herself and uh that's funny i guess um she uh she gets this letter saying that if she trains her she'll get five hundred thousand dollars so, you know, she kind of goes through this whole dilemma of, you know, should she sabotage her or should she do it right or what? And she begins training her uh, to go to the Olympics. I'm not going to go too much more into that. I mean, there isn't, there's kind of like a love story and some of that kind of stuff going on too. But um, I feel like, you know, the things this movie did right, it was, it was a good story. It was definitely interesting and kind of you know, fun to watch. I like the characters. I think Melissa Ra Rausch was really good in this. Um, but the things I think this movie did wrong is this movie was not a strong comedy. It wasn't very funny at all. I think I laughed once. Um, whatever jokes they were, there were, like, they just fell flat. And I didn't find this movie funny. Um, now, if they hadn't had... And I think she actually was involved with the production. Yeah, she she and her husband wrote this movie. Um, if, if they hadn't made it so it was like her swearing like every five seconds and they hadn't had this really weird, awkward Olympic sex scene that just wasn't funny. Like, they, it was obviously made to be like visual sight gag, but it wasn't funny. I didn't, I didn't think anyways. And um, if they had cut that stuff out, you know, they could have they could have got this down to a PG-13 rating instead of a rated R. And I think a, a big demographic for this movie would have been teenage girls. You know, they, they're trying to teach you lessons about life in this movie. You know, of course, her character has to grow and learn that she's become un intolerable and what's really important in life and, you know, how to be a good person and kind of move on past her uh, bronze medal status and become a functioning member of society, which, you know, might have been kind of a good lesson that, that uh, young people could have taken in. But instead, they, they, they had to have her say in the F word, you know, every five seconds and, you know, just swearing constantly for no reason. And I mean, I don't find it offensive or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, it wasn't funny. It, it, was, it was obviously there for comedic value, but it wasn't funny. And they could have uh, really, I think, done, been a lot more successful with this movie. And then, you know, their their viewers would have been people who would have enjoyed a movie like this more instead of, you know, people like me who expect, you know, it to be a lot funnier. And um, 
So I, I feel like it just had some flaws like that. Like I said though, it does have a good story. It's definitely worth a watch, guys. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's worth a purchase, uh, but it's definitely worth a watch. A fun movie with a with a with an interesting story, and just to see her character character kind of develop throughout the movie, and uh, her training this girl who's kind of like innocent, and she she kind of almost uh, what's what's that movie the the brother and sister one I can't even think of the name of it right now where where uh, they they take uh, Selma Blair or whatever and turn her into a bad girl it's kind of like what she did and uh, I don't know. I, I just think that it hit, it had hits and misses, and, and if they had just uh, made this a PG-13 movie, I think it would have uh, been a lot more successful because all the R-rated stuff wasn't funny. It didn't improve the movie any. Um, so those are my thoughts, guys. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on, in the comment section below if you saw this, if you guys enjoyed it or not. Uh, for a score on this, I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it's slightly above average, but... Um, not funny, and if they had, if they had worked more towards, you know, kind of more of a drama, maybe more a little lighthearted drama or whatever, I think the movie would have turned out better. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.